How you all doing? Hope you're keeping safe out there. Today I'm looking at a really nice figure. It's the Marvel Legends Game Reverse Miles Morales from, well, Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS5. This is a really, really good figure. Just getting out of the way now, this is probably one of the best Spider-Man figures of, well, if not the year, maybe of all time. And I picked this great figure up from the fine folks over at Comics and Cocktails. As always, highly recommended. Great store, great staff, great service, just brilliant. And as I said, this is a really, really good figure. It's 100% new sculpting, new tooling. It's amazing. Um, but, of course, you know how I do things around here. Quick bit of background to the character of the figure. And it's an interesting one. Because I can imagine like a lot of people know Miles Morales from the Into the Spider-Verse movie. Really great movie. Probably one of the best Spider-Man movies. It's like... I, I quite like uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, but this might be the better one of the two. I'm happy to admit that. Or maybe if you're a comic book fan, you know him from... Well, the comic books. Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and then when he moved over to the 616 main universe. But this isn't either of them. This is Miles Morales from the... Sony PS5 or PS4 no, what did I say Sony? The PlayStation Universe of Spider-Man and this costume in particular is from the Miles Morales Spider-Man game okay, the background of the character in this universe, he originally appeared in the PS4 Spider-Man game which is amazing, they're both amazing games actually, they're both like, I thought Web of Shadows was the best Spider-Man game ever, these two are just incredible but in the first one, we meet Miles Morales just in the course of the story. We also meet his father, who his name is... Davis, 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 Davis. I can't remember his second name. It will pop up now on the screen. But he's introduced as well. But unfortunately, he dies during the course of the game. And Miles sort of gets in a bit of a bad place emotionally before he's taken in by Peter Parker and aren't made to work at the shelter, where they are working at the moment. During course of events, he helps out, and at one point he's bitten by another spider. And so by the end bit of the game is showing that he actually has Spider-Man powers himself, and bonding with Peter Parker over them. And now, after the DLC for the game, you also see Peter Parker Spider-Man training Miles Morales to be a Spider-Man himself. After that, we fast forward to the Spider-Man PS5 game, the Miles Morales one, and after a pretty decent intro bit, Peter Parker leaves the city for a while and leaves Miles Morales in charge as Spider-Man, giving him a interesting Spider-Man suit to wear. Yeah, it's not... I get what they're going for. It's actually referential to the original costume Miles Morales wore in the Ultimate Comics, which is nice. But again, during the course of the game, he gets wrecked in it and he decides to create a suit for himself that more represents his own styles, his own sensibilities. And we get this great black and red suit, which is a an update to the comic book design from his first sort of like unique costume, and I love it. It's a great, great costume, and just all the details on it in the game, the different textures, the the athleticism of it, the the padded gloves for punching, the it looks amazing. The sculpted details are incredible, and yeah, I'm not going to spoil the, the game, but. At the end, you have both Miles Morales and Peter Parker both being Spider-Man, and the two costumes together both contrast and complement each other brilliantly. So yeah, that's the background and onto this figure, and I'm glad to say this figure has taken all that digital detail and added it to the sculpt in this beautiful pinless, like there's no pin showing here, it's all pinless arms, pinless legs, fantastic figure. It's it's truly a beautiful thing. And it's like, this isn't even really like the first Miles Morales figure in the Marvel Legends scaling, because there's been several others, and I think I've had the ball. Like, the first one I can think of is the one from... Ooh. It was the Amazing Spider-Man toy line, a Walmart exclusive. I had this. It wasn't brilliant. But as someone back then who wanted a Miles Morales figure, this was really my only option. After that, we got one in the Space Venom Wave, which was just a repaint. Well, not say just a repaint. It was a really good figure. Actually, no. It was a great figure. It came out, and it's kind of like a... It's one of these things where you had two figures that were just repaints of each other. But then again, not. they both used the same mould. It was this Spider-Man and the Ultimate Peter Parker one. It was brilliant. It was like a shrinking down version of the shrunken. A shrunken down version of the Pizza Spidey mould. 
It's brilliant, actually. I still have other figures that use this mold now. It's amazing. That was then itself later to be painted as part of a two-pack with a Spider Gwen repaint for the Into the Spider Verse movie. I had this pack as well. I've sold both these figures because neither of them were particularly great, but I got it at the time because I like the idea, even though the execution wasn't perfect. A much better like execution of the Spider Verse design was in the Stiltman Builder figure wave. That's a brilliant Miles Morales figure. Actually, no, this is the only one I don't think I actually owned. So I really wanted a version where it's just him in the costume, not wearing the like, the jacket and the shorts. Though I, I will admit this is a this itself is also a great looking figure. And then there's the Venomized Venomized. Oh, by the way, the Venomized Miles Morales figure. That's brilliant. In case you can't notice, folks, I'm actually dog rough here. I am hungover to hell, but I promise I get this video done. So bear with me, please. But yeah, this is the symbiote covered like venomized Miles Morales. I know a lot of people don't like it, saying it looks a bit like toady, you know, weird. I actually really like it. I repainted the one I had and sold it to someone else who wanted a repainted version, but I might actually track it down now to add back into my collection because it still looks really good. And yeah, those are all the ones that we've had up till now, and that leads us into this figure, which is an astounding feat of toy design and engineering and just sculpting and painting. It's I collected back in the day SH figure arts, you know, high end Japanese figures for normally tokusatsu shows or Kamen Rider shows, and this has the same feel to it of high quality, great, intricate design, and just brilliant, like the craftsmanship and the art of making figures. Because this figure just looks great from every angle. Not having pins means you don't break up the sculpt. It looks like a like a really great costume. It has all that detail from the game and from every angle it just screams brilliant and it just it's stunning. You can even get them into some really, really decent poses. Like if you want to you can get like the landing from a Spider Man jump pose or the uh, wall crawling pose. But, like the wall crawling pose looks really natural, this figure, due to that like diaphragm joint which has a really like le good lean back and the shoulders having butterfly joints so you can get the decent like crawling pose and it looks fantastic. But onto the things that it comes with, okay? So talk about articulation. Articulation is fantastic. As far as accessories go, as well as the opened wall crawling hands you've already seen, it comes with a pair of fists. Look really good. I've seen some people complain about the size of the hands of this figure. They look too big. I think it works because I interpret it as they're padded. He's a young lad, he's got like padded gloves for punching and impacts. It makes sense from a story point of view. And these fisting hands, nope, <laughs> these fisted hands, ooh, dear, look great. He also comes with a pair of web shooting hands, brilliant, really well sculpted. The paint across them all has been fantastic. I've seen some people have, have had paint bleed or smearing, I've had none of that. All my hands look amazing. He comes with a alternate head, which is a just a maskless Miles Morales. Yeah, again, looks really good. The digital sculpting and digital printing on this is fantastic. I have no complaints about the face sculpt, though I know some people complain, well, have complained, that it doesn't quite look like the game model. And, like, I think it does. It could just be you know, my eyes playing tricks on me, but I think it does look like Miles and Miles from the games, and I've got no complaints about that. One of the things it comes with, which is really cool, because in the game, and actually in the comic books, Miles and Miles has other powers that are different to Peter Parker. First of which is he can generate bioelectric venom blast shocks. And this figure allows you to reproduce that because it comes with another pair of alternate hands which are cast in a clear yellow with attached like sparkling yellow electric effects and these look really good these are fantastic for like just grabbing another figure and making it look like they're being shocked and just recreating the look of the effect from the show oh sorry from the game the comic books and actually from his tv show appearances and those few cartoons that has miles and miles in them but again this is a great extra touch they didn't have to include these but they did, and it's fantastic that they did. They're really good at getting across the look of the effect from the game. And it's like overall, this this is an amazing, amazing figure that just its basic stance carries itself in this sort of both relaxed but also quite realistic pose. I just just stood here now, just putting the one fist into his hand, looks like looking like he's ready to fight. He carries that pose really naturally. And actually, I know some people who might have played the game or watched the movies and such and such might be thinking to themselves, well, 
I mentioned that he has several powers, or a couple of powers, that are different to Peter Parker. It's true. Another one he has is he can turn invisible, which he does in the game as well. Now, obviously, you can't make a toy that turns invisible. But what Hasbro has done is released a variant of this figure, which you can buy separately, cast in a clear blue plastic, the same hues and colours as he appears in the sh in the game when you turn invisible. It comes with all the exact same accessories, except for the unmasked head. And... God damn it, I wasn't going to get this, but I really want to now. Yeah, I actually really, really want to. Funds are a bit tight. I tell you what, folks. If you want me to review this figure, I'll leave a link to my Twitter down below. Contact me on there. If anyone wants to donate to, like, get the note, it's like 20 some odd quid, but it's Christmas, and I've, I went ill rabbit at the moment. She's sucking up a lot of my money. If anyone wants to donate to help me get this figure, I'll happily review it before Christmas. You know, as, as a viewer-funded review, how about that? But anyway, back to this figure itself. Let me compare it to a few of the figures in my collection. Up first, it's got to be Spider-Man. I don't have the game of Earth PS4 Spider-Man. I didn't like the look of it. Well, no, that's not entirely true. It's not that I didn't like the look of it. I didn't like the fact it didn't come with wall-crawling hands. It just came with a fists and um, web-flipping hands. Not wall-crawling, and that's the biggest annoyance I have with Spider-Man figures. You can stop me from buying a Spider-Man figure from a mile away. Hopefully they might redo it and like do it like this figure so it's pinless because that one was on the, the old Sunfire, well I say old, on the currently quite used Sunfire body which still has like the pin showing and didn't have all the, like, the, the sculpted details of the suit. So who knows, we might get a sculpted detailed version of that suit, especially as it's being reused in the upcoming uh, Spider-Man 2 for the PS5, so yeah, that'd be good. But anyway, here he is next to the uh, retro Spider-Man. Yeah, get look really good together. You see what I mean about the two costumes looking great compared to each other. Obviously, the game version of Peter Parker's costume has more white in it, which is a lot more of a contrast, but still, the two look good together. Here he is next to the Inter Spider Verse Gwen Stacy slash Spider Gwen. These two figures look great together as teenage heroes, and again, the colours between them look fantastic. Here is next to like an average Marvel Legends figure, the 80th anniversary Captain America. Very nice. Here he is next to the a movie version of Venom with a slight repaint. It's I basically I, I darkened down a lot of the colours and gave the D, the D's more teeth tail, <laughs> the teeth more detail. God, um, but yeah, they look really great together. And here he is next to the Kingpin because you know, if you watch into the Spider Verse, you're gonna have Kingpin and Miles Morales. They look great together. And here he is next to one of the larger figures in most people's collections, the 80th anniversary Hulk. Yeah, again, just it looks good. With any figure, really. I can't imagine. There's no Marvel Legends this figure wouldn't look good with because this is a fantastic looking figure. So, yeah, folks, that's it. Um, as you couldn't tell from my just babbling and gushing review, I really, really like this figure. It's shocking to me that they can make a figure this good for 20 quid roundabout or 22 quid. Because, I, as I said, I used to collect figure arts and they were like 30, 40 quid imported and they were not quite as big as this. And yes, they had some metal in them, but the way it makes me feel and the quality of them is is equal to this figure and this is a mass produced figure you know from Hasbro and I can only hope that going forward this is a new standard for the greatness of figures they can produce so yeah if you can find it which as I say mass, mass market figure you should be able to quite easily I highly recommend getting this figure and track down the invisible variant as well because that looks like it's going to be an amazing figure also it's all in all just high, high recommendation. Well, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment down below, and if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for more mediocre content. <laughs> and until next time, I want you all to stay safe, stay sane, and keep on rolling. And I'll see you all next time. Ta-da!